Hello and welcome to this video which is the third video in a three-part series on using Flowgorithm to design an algorithm. Um, and so in this third part we're going to focus on using uh, condition controlled iteration using while loops and do while loops and we're then going to um, have a look at designing a simple game in which we um, get the users to type in a number between 1 and 10 and see if they can guess the right number and continue to ask the user to enter a number until they get the right answer and what we'll do is we'll remake that using uh, a do while loop and we'll have a look and see what that uh, what that kind of do while loop produces in Flowgorithm. Okay, what kind of Python code can be produced by that? So let's first start by looking at the uh, the while loop and focusing on the flow diagram for a while loop here. So this is a flow diagram for the simple game that we're going to make. So we first of all declare the variable, so answer, and that's an integer, and then we get the user to input their answer. And then we get to this diamond here, which is the standard way of using uh, a uh, condition here. So we're making some sort of decision based on a condition. So just like we did with an if uh, statement, we're going to use this diamond here. So I know that Flowgorithm has its own way of um, having a symbol for a while loop, but we're not going to use that. This is the standard way of doing it. So answer is not equal to 10. So while this number is not equal to 10, we are going to go around this loop. Okay, so if the user types in number 5, for example, 5 is not equal to 10, so that will equate to true, and so we'll go continue downwards here. And so we'll output wrong, and then it will ask for the user to input again their answer, and then the, the algorithm will come back to the beginning and it will check again. So if the user uh, types in the number 10 here, then this will equate to false because 10 not equaling 10 will equal false okay so therefore uh, we'll come out of the loop and the program will then output correct and we'll stop the program okay so let's have a look at this um, using some pseudocode there are many different ways of writing pseudocode but this might be one of those so here we can say uh, loop while answer not equals 10. So here's what we do while the answer is not equal to 10. And then end while, and then when we've ended, we then output correct. So that's a while loop. And we can see that the condition here is uh, tested here. And uh, if the condition is false to start off with, we don't even go into the loop here, okay? So that will cause uh, some problem if we don't duplicate this input statement here and here. Okay, so let's look at how uh, a do while loop or a do until loop um, is a bit different to this. So, at the beginning of the the loop or the program here, we declare the variable integer, our answer which is integer, uh, and then we ask for the user to type in their answer. And we see here, we're going to check to see if their answer is not equal to 10. And if it isn't equal to 10, then we go round and we get put back here. And then we, what well, we say, wrong answer. And then we ask for the, the input again, okay? So when the user again here types in the number 10, when we get to this part here, this will be evaluated as false and it will output correct and so then we'll stop okay so notice here we don't need to duplicate the input part here because the condition is evaluated after here so at the end here and so this is do while this is a do while loop and let's have a look at that um, with the pseudocode so we've got here loop so um, input the answer while answer is not equal to 10 you loop around um, 
when it is equal to 10, we, we, we finish that loop and we output correct. So let's go and have a look at how we might do this in, um, how we might use a while loop in, in Flowrhythm. And then we'll remake that and have a look at the output code in, um, in Python, okay, for a do while loop as well. Okay, so over here in uh, Flowrhythm, you can see that I've made the algorithm using um, Flowrhythm. And you can see there's a couple of differences, especially here, where the symbol is not the, the diamond there. And so we can see this diamond um, is going to check for the, um, the condition, answer is not equal to 10. And if it's true, it will loop around and it will say output try again and then input the answer there and then it will continue looping around until this equates to false and when it equates to false so that the user has actually inputted the number 10 uh, then it will output you guess the number correctly so it's it's finished that loop and it will end the program okay so it's important to realize that um, we check the condition here and so we need to have, um, at the beginning of the loop, we need to have some um, condition to check against. So here we're checking against the answer, okay? And so we need to have the variable, we need to have a value in the answer as well to, um, to check it against, okay? If we didn't, it wouldn't work because it would say that there's no value there that's been, uh, answer hasn't been declared yet. So let's have a look at how we might express this in uh, our pseudocode. So like before here, uh, we've got our uh, input answer and then we've got our while loop. And then we've got our output, what happens when we have got it correct, okay? So that only runs once the loop is finished, once that, has, um, um, that condition has stopped being true there. Okay, so let's have a look at the Python code that we could use. So again, we're looking at we're using the input function, and this is the while loop that keeps on going round while that condition is true. So while the user's um, typing a number in that's not ten, that condition will tr be true. Okay, and it only becomes false when the user types in the number ten. And so when it does become false, that loop will stop and it will print you, you guessed the number correctly. Okay, so let's go on and let's have a look and see how um, we can make this again using a, uh, a do while loop. Over here in Flowrhythm, we've got a um, use of the, the do while loop here. And this is very different to the way that we use the while loop. So in this case, we have got the condition here at the bottom. And so let's go through this program. So first of all, we declare the integer or the answer here, the variable, and we go this way through the loop. So it will uh, ask you, please type in a number and it will store that number inside the variable and it will check that, that number. So it will check that condition here at the end so this is going to happen at least once. It's going to do this code here at least once. And so here, if the answer is not equal to 10, so it will go back to the beginning and it will do this all again. Okay. So therefore, we're going to go from, uh, go around again. We're going to loop around again. If the number that the user uh, typed in at this point here in our loop is equal to 10, this is going to evaluate as false and therefore this is going to end here. So it's going to end the program there. We can, of course, put in an output here just to tell the user that they got this right. So we can type it in here. So correct, okay. And we can press okay there, okay. So this is a do while loop. And of course, we uh, check that condition at the end there. Okay, let's see how we might express this code in, uh, first of all, in um, pseudocode. So we've got our loop, we, then we got our end loop. But of course, here at the end of that loop, we're testing that condition. Okay, so while answer is not equal to 10, we continue with that loop. And as soon as that loop 
does equal 10, we stop the loop and then we output correct. Okay, let's have a look at how we would put this in our Python here. And we can see here that it says um, while true, so this is how we can simulate a do loop in um, Python. So uh, while true, and we print off, please type in a number, and then answer equals that variable we or that variable we type in. And if not, uh, so if that doesn't equal that, then we break the loop. Okay. So this is a way that we can do that in Python. So it's a quite a uh, a good way of simulating a do loop and uh, it's quite often used uh, for things like uh, password checkers things like that um, where we just want it to continue asking okay the question or con continue asking to do something uh, while the condition is true okay so um, that's been our third video I hope you've enjoyed this short series of three videos and I hope you've learned a little bit about how you can use Flogarithm to uh, design those algorithms. It is a very, very good tool to use, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. So um, we'll go back to our normal uh, our Python work uh, in future videos. Um, and we'll also come back to Flogarithm later on when we're learning a bit more about uh, using uh, functions in Python. Okay. Well, thank you very much and goodbye.